Hello, today we're taking a look at CCleaner. CCleaner is one of the top PC tools out there for cleaning, protecting your privacy, and making sure your PC remains running fast and keeping it well maintained over time. Now today we're going to be taking a look specifically at the CCleaner Professional Plus. That's the version that I purchased. What this includes is a 4-in-1 bundle, so you actually get CCleaner. You also get a couple additional tools from Pureform, which include things like Defragler, Specky, and Recover, which are all really great PC utilities. And if you want to hear more about those, be sure to check out the link down below for the demos of those software. All right, that being said, we're going to be taking a look at, again, CCleaner Professional here for Windows. And this is just, you know, a really great utility to have when it comes to maintaining your PC. Because unlike a lot of software that's out there that claims to speed up or optimize your PC, uh, this is from a really established company. There's no viruses, spyware, or adware that comes with this software. Um, it's just out of the box, really, really great, easy to use, and again, makes your PC run that much more efficiently. All right, so here you see the main aspect of the application is the cleaner. And then in this case, you have the ability, in this case for Windows, to choose the default Windows settings that you want to clean up here. And then you have more specific application settings. So, for example, if I was to go ahead and look at the Windows settings, I can delete things like the Microsoft Edge browsers, cache, cookies, download history. These are things that are temporarily taking up more space on your hard drive that may be slowing down the machine or just affecting overall performance and things that you may not really need uh, and you can clear from time to time. Internet Explorer settings like history, cookies, uh, temporary files. And then within Windows Explorers, you can delete things like recent documents or at least analyze them. Uh, other Explorer MRUs. So there's a lot of, you know, while there's a lot of simple stuff, there's a lot more technical stuff. And the great thing about that is if you don't know what it is, and it, let's say, for example, you don't know what an MRU is, you can simply just uncheck it and you don't have to actually clear that out. So if you're unsure, you don't know if you want it or not, simply uncheck it and you'll be good to go. As for system settings, it can do things like it can empty your recycling bin, clear out your temporary files, clipboard, memory dumps, check disk file fragments, and Windows log files. So the great thing about this is it doesn't delete anything major. So it's not going to go ahead and delete any applications or things of that nature. What it does is it gets a lot of files that are temporary that tend to clean out from time to time. It's essentially just forcing that to do it earlier than, you know, you may be accustomed to or may not know at all. Now, furthermore, you can toggle advanced settings if you want to look into those. So if you want to go ahead and toggle these, you can go ahead and look through all of these options. However, you want to make sure when you do these advanced settings, you know what you're doing and you know specifically which ones that you want to either activate or not activate. So for example, uh, you can do things like there is the ability to uh, go into a Windows event log. So if there's stuff that Windows logs over time, and if you want to delete those, you can. However, some people like to keep those around because if they have to revert back to them. Uh, and then there's the application specific things you can clean. So for example, I use a Google Chrome browser, so I might want to delete things like internet cache, history, or cookies. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and have it do just the internet cache. And then under things like Windows Store, MS Office, if you have any of those, other browsers or apps that you might use, and then other multimedia tools as well. It can clean a lot of third-party apps out there, so it's a really great tool to have. Now, that being said, you choose everything that you want to go ahead and clean, and then from there, you can go ahead and either run it right away, so it'll automatically run the cleaner, or if you want to analyze it, this will go ahead and show you the things that it's actually going to go ahead and clean. So essentially, it's going to scan the system. Uh, and then if you want to, you know, in this case, you can see a preview of the things that will be deleted here. This will show you the files. This will show you the things that uh, will be deleted. And you can see here certain stuff that was skipped in this case and other information all displayed right away. So it's a really great way to get an analysis before running any sort of cleaning process. But of course, once you're ready, once you think that everything is checked efficiently, simply hit Run Cleaner, and I'll hit OK. And I'll begin to delete all of those temporary files and those things to optimize the system, to run faster, be more secure, and of course, just maintain overall health of my PC. And just like that, it cleaned over 3,700 plus megabytes in only 19 seconds. So, you know, you can run this daily, you can run this weekly, it's just a really great tool to have. And the great thing with Professional Plus is it runs real-time monitoring, so it lets you know when there's like things that may need to be cleaned up or just, you know, monitoring your system for anything that may affect it. Uh, additionally, you can actually schedule cleaning, so I'll show you that in a second here. So if you want to have it run automatically, it's always a great thing to do. You can see it also has a registry cleaner built in. 
essentially what with Windows anyways, a registry is just the thing that holds a bunch of your, it's like the internals file system of your operating system. And there's a lot of different things that make up your registry, fonts, help files. Uh, but anyhow, that file system can be cleaned up and save you a lot of space. So the same thing here, you can scan for issues, you can scan if there's anything missing, you can scan if there's anything that can you know, stand to be deleted, and then you can fix all those selected issues very easily. So this again helps with optimizing overall performance, and it recommends you back up before this because the registry is such a uh, you know, crucial part of your system, so you can go ahead and do that if you haven't done it already. And then from there, you can go ahead and tell it to fix all selected issues. And just like that, it'll walk you through all of the issues it's fixed and give you a bit of a description for each of them that it did. So in this case, it just deleted the registry values to help optimize the overall file system. Next up is your tools. And this is really great because it puts all of your utilities in one place. So for example, if you want to like uninstall an application, all of that is put into here. So you can easily remove those applications from your computer. You would simply select the app that you want to get rid of and then hit uninstall. You can even rename or just straight up delete them. You can also see all the files that are running with startup. So you can see all the applications that may be running when you start up your machine. So for example, my keyboard has a driver that runs in a certain software. And if I didn't want that to run, I can simply disable it so that it saves startup space and overall improves startup time when booting up my computer. You also have options to do things like schedule tasks, as you can see here, so you can have certain things run, like update software run right away when you start up, and change things like context menus, which are when you right-click on an application, you can see right here, you have like the view, those are context menus. So if you want to like right-click on a text file and have it you know, say open with Notepad or open with Microsoft Word, you can adjust those things right here. Browser plugins, depending on the browser you use, you can adjust things like Google Chrome or Internet Explorer's browser plugins. If you have things like uh, extensions installed, you can easily disable them here. Of course, you can do all of these in the applications themselves, but the great thing about having CCleaner is that you can do it all in one place. Disk Analyzer allows you to see all of your um, files on your PC and analyze what's taking up a lot of space so you can specify what type of files you're looking for or just have it do a general scan here and then it would basically run to see all the files that are taking up space on your computer and then you can easily delete as needed. Underneath that or so here we have that disk representation again it breaks down by file size what's taking up the most space and I can easily find those files navigate and delete them. Duplicate Finder is another way to save space. If you take photos a lot, for example, there's some tendency sometimes to have like two copies of a photo when you import them. This will easily find all of those duplicates and allow you to delete them. System Restore allows you to jump back to a certain point with your system. So let's say you installed an application and it messed up your computer. You can actually jump back to the point before you installed it and restore your system to a previous state. Last but not least is Drive Wiper. As the name implies, this is a really easy and secure way to erase all of the content on a drive. So ideally, you don't want to do this on your local disk, but maybe you have external disks or other partitions that you want to wipe. You can do all of that in CCleaner as well. And last but not least here is your Options tab. This allows you to adjust the overall settings of the application. So you have some advanced settings that you can adjust here as needed. You can adjust the monitoring settings. So this, again, enables a system monitoring and allows you to see if you need to clean a specific aspect, like if your drive is getting more full or you know your browser, let's say for example, you can enable browser monitoring on Google Chrome um, and you can prompt it when it needs to be cleaned. You can have things that are included or excluded specifically. So if there's like files or things that you don't want it to scan, you can go ahead and specify that. And then in the settings, this is where you can do things like you can adjust if this runs at the startup. You can also have it automatically check for updates and wipe free space, you can determine you know, when it needs to do that here and what type of deletion it does. And another great aspect, if you jump into the settings tab here, like I mentioned earlier, if you wanna run CCleaner on a schedule, you can go ahead and do that daily, weekly, monthly, at log on at a specified time and date. It's all up to you, so you can have it run automatically in the background without ever after worrying about it, just knowing that CCleaner Professional is keeping your computer up to date and running efficiently. So for more information, if you want to buy or try CCleaner for free on Windows and as well as Mac, there's a Mac version for you Mac users out there, uh, then you can go ahead and check out our link down below and you can save up to $50 by using our link and buying the 4-in-1 CCleaner Professional Plus bundle for only $39.95 instead of the $90 price point. So really great savings there. And again, if you want to make sure your computer is running fast, efficiently, and secured, be sure to check out CCleaner.